Before this video begins, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, make sure to check out my affiliate links down below so you can get discounts on different car mods and products. Alright, let's get into the drive. Hello and welcome. Today we are driving a 2019 Hyundai Kona Electric. This is a front wheel drive model and an EV. I would like to thank Hyundai of Newport in Newport, Rhode Island for allowing me to review this vehicle and drive it in this video. Their link is down in the description below. So this is a front wheel drive electric vehicle. It has about 258 miles of range on it and this is a two row SUV with seating for five. This weighs in at about 4,700 pounds and has about 7,500 miles, and it is stickering currently at $33,000. This battery electric vehicle has 201 horsepower and 291 pound-feet of torque, and this is mated with a single-speed automatic transmission. This gets 132 miles per gallon city, 108 on the highway, and 120 mpge combined. This rides on some 17-inch alloy wheels on top of 215 wide tires, and it does have four-wheel disc brakes. Some people love these wheels, some hate them, I personally don't mind them. This is a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack, comparable to the Tesla Model 3, which comes in 50, 62, or 75 kilowatt hour variants. And this is more efficient than other vehicles, such as a Jaguar I-Pace, with a 90 kilowatt hour battery, only achieving 234 miles range, and the Audi e-tron with a giant 95 kilowatt hour battery pack, achieving only 200 miles range. So this is a pretty worthy Tesla competitor. For safety features, you do get blind spot monitoring, lane departure alert with lane keep assist, forward collision alert with emergency braking and avoidance, rear cross traffic alert, and auto high beams. This does have front independent suspension, a front anti-roll bar, some functional vents outside to help cool the vehicle, and a sunroof. All right, so for the shifter in here, you do get a push button, so I am in drive. And oddly enough, you do get sport mode in here in a stinking electric vehicle. So we are driving, of course, in sport mode. Let's see. All right, so it has some real power. Wow, that was insane. I did not expect any uh, instant power wheel screeching from that. Uh, that was my fault. That was uh, awesome. <laughs> you do you do get a digital uh, uh, gauge cluster in here, so uh, with an analog cutout for the speedo, which is going to be digital. On the right, you get your battery charge level, and on the left, you get your power gauge or your charge gauge, so it can actually uh, be recharging itself as well, with what I believe is regenerative braking. As for your steering wheel, it is leather wrapped, has some nice bolsters at 10 and 2, and uh, it feels pretty nice in hand. So this is powered with a single speed automatic transmission, of course, and this is going to uh, give it basically instant power. So uh, we are in sport mode once again. And uh, as for the ride so far, uh, and the, the tire noise is basically non-existent. Wind noise is a little present, but very, very quiet, which is good. Even though this is a more budget vehicle, it is uh, very, very quiet in here, except you do hear the whir of the engine. All right, so let's come to a stop and we are in sport mode. Let's floor it and see what happens. Okay, it has some power. 40, 50, and that's about 60. Wow, that is really not bad. And it genuinely likes to skip the tires. That is so funny to me. I did not expect that at all. Neither did the rider with me. <laughs> so, uh, correct. yeah, that is interesting. Uh, as for steering feel, it's very direct and sporty. That is really interesting. I expected this to be like a lug of a vehicle, just something very heavy and boring and terribly handling, but uh, let alone fun. But this is pretty dang fun. I'd like one of these now. <laughs> Going through bumps, wow, it absorbs a pretty rough bump very well. So, uh, so far it's, uh, it's performing very well overall. Yeah, let's see what the turning radius is like. Okay, pretty tight turning radius, nothing bad. Yeah, it really has a, uh, well, of course it's gonna have instant torque. It's gonna be uh, an electric motor, but um, yeah, it's really surprising. <laughs> Why does it like spinning the tires? This makes no sense to me. That's so wrong. <laughs> this is great. Oh my goodness. This is a Hyundai Kona <laughs> electric. Why is this the way that it is? 
It's genuinely driving like a sports car with its power Veloster delivery. Wasn't screeching. Yeah, I just drove a Hyundai Veloster today. You may see that up on the channel, if not very soon. And uh, it wasn't screeching as much as this. That's so weird. Let's see the brakes on this. Okay, they're typical brakes. Do a very, very good drive. job. Yeah, this is front wheel drive. I guess that's why if it were all wheel drive, it would have a bit different driving experience, but this is, uh, it can put the power down. I didn't think I'd be saying that in a, my first electric vehicle, a small SUV, but it, um, kind of a Tesla model, uh, Y or three competitor, but, um, yeah, interesting. The whirring sound sounds awesome. Sounds like an alien sound out of a movie. Why? Why does it do the things that it does? <laughs> It is spinning at any possible opportunity, the front wheels. Wow. It gets traction quick. I didn't turn it off. I don't, oh yeah, there is a traction off button. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But, um, no, not today. I want to live. But, uh, we got plans tonight. Yeah, we got plans. But, um, interesting. I am very impressed by this Kona so far. It rides like a normal car. Let's pop it out of sport mode so we hopefully don't die. Um, Eco, yeah, there, it like tugs you way forward. It completely drops. Uh, it still, still has some torque in it, though. So Interesting. Sad. Interesting. And then popping back into normal. Yeah, it feels just a little less restrained. It it doesn't really change the transmission, but it just keeps it, uh... Because, you know, the transmission is one speed. But it is, a uh, very, very interesting power delivery. I knew electric power was instant, but I didn't think a 30-ish thousand dollar economy SUV would be, uh, so willing and eager to spin the tires at any given moment. This is, uh very fun and for the ride very it's very quiet very impressed and uh yeah i am certainly excited to drive hopefully more electric vehicles in the near future all right thank you again to hyundai of newport in newport rhode island for allowing me to review and drive this vehicle both videos will be up soon if not already and thank you for watching take care